And we are back! Woo! It's been like, what, two months almost since our last video dropped here on YouTube? But we've had stuff going on. Life things, not all negative for once. Not all negative, yeah. There's some negative in there, though. Well, there's always some negative. Yeah. But we're going to try and keep that energy away from this video. Right? Right. Right. Okay, so, how do we want to begin our hiatus return video? Start with your uh, adventure. Okay, so, um, I went to Scotland for two weeks. And I didn't want to come back. <laughs> so yeah, I had the opportunity to join a tour. Um, they specialize in Outlander, which is the show and book series that I have been trying to <laughs> partake in. Um, yeah, it was fun. This was my first international trip ever. So there was lots of anxiety going into it, but everything worked out. It was fun. Yeah. Kevin got the house to himself for like two weeks, so I'm sure he was like, whoop, whoop. You know, no <laughs> nagging wife around. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of why we're a little bit behind on things too, because when I came back, I was not quite so eager to jump back into reading. I'm still struggling to jump back into reading. And I guess you could say another part is we're trying to do a lifestyle change. Yeah, we're trying to change our lives a little bit. Um, trying not to uh, gain more weight anyway. Yeah. Well, see, when I was over there in Scotland... You know, we did a lot of walking and exploring and whatnot. And I came back and I was like nine pounds down. And I was like, ugh, I don't want to gain these things back. So, and I was feeling strong and healthy. And so, I'm hoping it was the little kickstart to getting on the right track. Because we ain't getting any younger. And our health isn't like bad, but we don't want it to get bad. Right, right. So now we have these like... Nifty little watches. We're so like late to the technology game, but it's all like, you need to get walking or get active. So it's like nagging us and we follow it. We have been put under control by the watch. <laughs> hmm. But anyways, so yeah. And while I was gone, Kevin got to deal with the more negative parts of life. The fun that is being a homeowner. What broke while I was gone? Everything. I had to get a dryer. Thanks for the help, Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> had to do a little bit of plumbing. Car window broke. You know, just junk. Junk. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways. um, But I guess you guys aren't really here for all that crap. No. You're here for the reading stuff. Um, <clears throat> we didn't really do a recap video for March. Yeah, we're going back. Because we didn't really finish <laughs> anything in March. Um, reading, so that's our March recap. <laughs> reading has been pretty sporadic. <clears throat> April, I would say, is when we finished. At least for me, most of my stuff. Because after a certain point, I was in, like, focus trip mode. Trying to get everything together. Um... Yeah, because this was before the whole you needed to test to get back into the country stuff was eliminated. So whatever. I was dealing with all that stuff. <clears throat> but for April, um, what did I finish? I'm just going to jump into it. I'm kind of going out of order here. So I'm going to reach over onto our nifty little shelf here. I finished... Voyager, third book in the Outlander series. Um, I'm currently working on the fourth book. My goal was to have had the fourth book done before the trip. That didn't happen. It, it was also a goal to have it done before the most recent season came out, and that didn't happen. But anyways, I finished Voyager. Very good. Very much follows along with the show if you watch the show. If you don't watch the show, but you're reading the series, 
then you know it's good. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, <clears throat> I, f I, I feel like I'm reading it. I don't know. I don't know what to say. There's probably going to be an edit at this spot because I don't know what to say. Anyways. <laughs> and I finished Terry Pratchett's The Color of Magic. I hope that the camera is catching this stuff. It's a new phone and a new camera. So, and it's been, like I said, almost two months since we've done any filming. I have to get back into it. <laughs> but anyways, Terry Pratchett, Color of Magic. Um, this one? <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> it's, I mean, I, I know it's absurd. Like, it's absurd. That's what it, it is. But it, yeah. I don't know. I vaguely remember moments of you closing the book going, I don't know what the hell I just read. I mean, and it's not like, and it's not like, you know, when I'm reading Malazan. This is legit, like, the words. They don't even, they're not real words. I don't know. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue with this series. I know uh, one of our viewers, who I hope is still viewing, <laughs> recommended that I should start with Guards Guards, and I'm thinking maybe I should have, but I don't know. But, yeah, this was interesting. It took me a while to get through this one for it being so small. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to continue to, uh, ride along the back of the turtle. So, anyways, that's what I got in April. May was nothing, because it was trip mode. Yep, so I got nothing there. What did you finish? Nothing in March? April was probably your prime time, too. I completed Mort. Cool. Which is, uh, if you look online, it's the start of the death storyline in this world. And <clears throat> if there is a death that I meet someday. Well, you will meet death. Mm. Oh, you mean like Grim Reaper, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Figure. Yes. Mm. If there is someone waiting for my soul, I hope he has death attitude from Mort. I uh, rather enjoyed this one. I like what he did with the whole theme and uh, all that in there. Because everyone faces death at some point. And then the other one I finished would be Night of Knives by Ian C. Esselmont. Which is the first book of Novels of the Malaz Malazan Empire. I'm sure that all up. But, mm. um, I've never read a Malazan book that is all one night. A lot happened in that night. Um, interesting to see different perspectives on things, though, because there's a lot of characters that you see very little in the main series, or not at all, that you're kind of with in this one. So it's an interesting fill-out of the events leading into Gardens of the Moon. I just had a thought. Hmm. In, like, real history, mm -hmm. isn't there a Knight of Knives? Isn't it relevant to, like, the Holocaust and stuff? I'm not sure. Gonna have to look. Because there's a night of something. Hmm. I don't recall, and we... We're normally, like, good with that kind of history. Like, knowing it. There's so much history, it's <clears throat> impossible to know yeah, it all. Yeah, especially around World War Two. But anyways, I digress. So that's, did you finish anything in May? Or were you just like, whoop, whoop, two weeks off, going to chill out for the other two weeks? Kind of got derailed with the reading, trying to be more physically active and stuff. I forgot, and it just reminded me. Add to the list of things that broke, our air conditioner. In and Florida. And it's summer in Florida. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> it just kicked on, so that's why I thought of it. Yeah. All right, so like I said, though, y'all in here for all that. 
<clears throat> so that's what we got for our completions. Pretty sad and pathetic. But that's okay. So I guess <clears throat> while we're here, we can discuss our TBR for summer. At this point, it's going to be whatever catches my attention. Same. The only guarantee will be we are continuing on with Malazan. We are on Dead House Gates. Our last video was book two of Dead House, of Gates, Dead yeah. House Gates. So we will continue on with that. So we're getting into the nitty gritty. Um, we're probably going to, once that's complete, just move straight into the next one, which is... Memories of Ice, yes. which is a crowd favorite. <clears throat> sure. So we'll probably just go straight into that one. Still going to probably do our videos every two weeks for the Malazan series. It does take a while to uh, get through some of those Malazan chapters. Yep. Um, and with that, we probably, if we have something... We're, that we feel is worth sharing or we want to share whatever we might throw in a video in the non mid in the non week you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um there was some acquisitions there was some acquisitions so that's why we can't really give you a tbr list and we're just going to go with whatever tickles our fancy because because we've been so consistent with tbrs <clears throat> yeah i know right <laughs> so while i was in scotland of course i mean i had to acquire some books and I had to go to some of the greatest used bookstores. I went to Leakey's, which is like Top Dog and in Inverness and I don't know, maybe even in like the Scotland used book scene. Um, I went to a cute little bookstore in the small little cute town of Doorknock. I didn't get anything from there. Um, Doorknock. Yeah, Doorknock. Um, and then I went to, I guess it would be what, I don't know, what's... It might be their like equivalent of Borders or Books a Million. Waterstones went there. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, I got all my finds mostly from Leakey's and maybe like little gift shops. Oh, and I had to use Amazon UK because I couldn't find some things. But I bought it while I was in the UK, so it counts. Okay, so obviously I'm on an Outlander tour. I'm reading Outlander. I got the first book of the Outlander series called Outlander here in the States, but cross-stitch in the UK. So it's essentially the same book. The difference being one of them, at least, is that this starts out with, if I can get to it, Inverness 1946, whereas the States version is Inverness 1945. So anyways, I got that. Um, I also got Outlanders Scotland, which is a little book of all the filming sites that, as of the creation of this book, have been used, a slew of which I visited on the tour. So this is kind of like a little... For me to remember when I'm like 80 years old and I suffer from memory loss occasionally. <laughs> this will help jog it. And then I've got these two are next two are from Leakey's Illustrated Encyclopedia of Tartan. It's kind of nerd, but I'm into it. And yeah, I haven't checked it out yet, but I think I can appreciate the greatness of it. And then this is a book by an author that was mentioned by some of the ladies on the tour, Sarah Fraser. So I'm be interested in to uh, read this one, um, but it might be a while before I get to it because it is a little bit thick. Just so, a little beefy. Just a little bit beefy. Um, and then I'm like, oh man, I need to get Kevin some kind of gift other than two weeks of freedom. <laughs> So, you know, <laughs> while I was in the UK, I acquired, dun, 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 which, if you may recall, our first series on this channel was the Mistborn Trilogy. And it's actually called the Final Empire. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which I questioned, why, why do we have Mistborn? But it's actually the Final Empire. But yeah, so we got the cool Euro covers. Mm-hmm. 
add to the collection. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so those are the things we've acquired book-wise. So that's why I'm, I mean, and granted he's already read, we've already read this one, but, you know, still has to look at. Yeah. So. And uh, hopefully in a week or two, we should return with another video for Are we? Dead House. Is it a week or two? No. Uh -huh. It'd be two. Whatever. I don't know. There will be one coming shortly. Um, we do have a, 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 a request of you, if you don't mind. We'd like some feedback on what you like and what you don't like. I mean, we can obviously look at like the YouTube analytics, but I don't feel like, I think since we're like so relatively small, we're not getting all of the information. Um, that like more of the larger channels would be getting. So we would like to know what you guys think, what you want to see, what you don't want to see, what could be improved, other, if you don't mind. Other than our actual discussions. Yeah. Improving. We're working on which that. Clearly this one we have just thrown together. Yeah. <laughs> and my communication is not the best. Yeah. So, but yeah, if you don't mind, do us a favor and throw some feedback in the comments. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's where we're at right now. We're hoping to get a little bit back into this more regularly. There yeah. are no international two-week trips in my future anytime soon. <laughs> so. And my idea of a vacation is stay at home anyway. Oh, well, there you go. So none in his future either. <laughs> but anyways, that's where we're at. As always, we, we thank you for your time, for watching, for supporting, for commenting, for doing all the great things that you do to help us keep going. And we will see you back in a week or two with book three, Malazan, Deadhouse Gates. The Chain of Dogs. Dogs. There are dogs. Dogs. <laughs> See you later. Oh! <laughs> I thought we were done. See ya! <laughs> <laughs>